she was like, you always put the cart back because that's someone's job. Make it easier. <laughs> Sorry. To kind of get myself organized. Morning. I'm getting ready for the day. I was actually going to pick up the, the camera and vlog yesterday, but I just woke up so irritable in such a bad mood and um it's definitely that time of the month normally i don't do that but lately like i've been having this one day of the month where i can just cry for no reason and i'm so irritable and no one wants to be around me and i really like i don't know why this is happening because this is a very new thing this irritability and this emotional day that I'm having. I, it was really just the morning time. I had a much better day <laughs> after about two o'clock. I got in a better mood. I like shifted my attitude because Ryan was like, listen. <laughs> what are you talking about? You are Elastigirl! My God, pull oh, yourself yeah, together! Yeah. I decided I would not vlog yesterday, so I'm vlogging today feeling much better today, much more like myself. Got a few things to do today and I'm just getting ready. Now it is nine o'clock. A little bit of a slow morning. I uh, woke up at seven, I let myself sleep in a little bit. Woke up at seven, I did not work out because I just really wasn't feeling it today. Just wanted to check in and say hello. Instead of my pink look today, I went for like a coral look. So I used no. I used this NARS blush that I love, and this is the color Torrid. Peachy and corally. And remember I told you guys that this is the best highlighter, this Chanel, and I've had it for a very long time. I use it almost every day because I just put like a little here and a little here and a little here, and I'm literally just use it like this much it lasts so long so it's a great investment but okay i'm gonna go go confront the problem fight win eat brush my teeth put lipstick on and then um just like fix my hair a little bit all right before i get dressed for the day i'm gonna show you some items i got from express i'm partnering up with them again to show you some summer items and one pre-fall item I'm actually wearing, um, do you guys remember this cardigan from Express from, I believe, last winter? Oh my god, it's still one of the most, like, the softest cardigan that I own and I wear it all the time. Even in the dead of summer. First up is this two-piece set, which is my absolute favorite thing out of the haul. It is so perfect for summer. I just love two-piece sets. First of all, I've got two in this haul, actually, but this is my favorite. But I went ahead and just tucked in the top. I think what I'm gonna do is order one size smaller in the top. So definitely size down, so I'm just gonna exchange it. But Ryan and I actually went on a staycation last Saturday, and this got here on Monday. This would have been so perfect. Um, I mean, you could even throw this over a bathing suit if you wanted to. So I think this is super versatile and also great as separates as well. So. Definitely my favorite. Okay, I'll try on the next two-piece set, which is very different next. Next is this neon green two-piece set. Um, it's like a little shorts suit, and I love this. Hold on, the color is not, this is not like what it looks like in person. Okay, this is a little bit more what it looks like in person, this color, but I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it back off for the sake of the video, but. So first of all, I love suits. <laughs> um, that's like kind of what I live in in the fall and winter. I just love like matching sets, but this short suit is so cute. I don't think I own a short suit. So this is my first one. And I love the fact that that's lime green. <laughs> like why not, right? But um, it's super easy to steam. I just steamed it quickly, threw it on. The blazer is kind of like a, it's like a shoulder pad, almost like a boyfriend style fit. It's like a little bit oversized, but still looks nice and tailored, which that combo is so hard to find. So I'm glad I have it in a lime green version. I'm also wearing this camisole. I got this actually in black and in white, and it's those camisoles that have like the built-in bra. They're thick. They're super fitted. So great for layering, especially in the summertime because you don't want something, um, you know, that's like heavy. And this is thick, even though it's like a thick material, but lightweight at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense, but these are like the most perfect camisoles and I've actually been getting these since like high school. They're just great for layering. Okay, that room gets so much natural light that it's 
like you can't see the color, <laughs> the proper color of everything. So um, I grabbed these jeans and I've actually already worn and washed these twice. I love them so much, but they are kind of a wide leg cropped or not cropped, but I think they're perfect. I think this style of jean is perfect for like an open sandal like this. That's why I love them for spring and summer because um, I don't really love this length with a boot. I think it's a little too, like it needs to be a little shorter, or a little longer for a boot, but this is the perfect length, length for a summer sandal. I've mentioned this before, but Express's jeans are like the stretchy cotton, super soft, super thin. They fit so great in the waist and they're just so comfortable. Like they just move with you. So I think this is like a perfect summer denim. But here's the color. It's like a washed black. So it's not like a true, true black. I guess it could almost be like a charcoal gray. These are my favorite jeans. Look how cool these are. These are an HMS a atromestical asymmetrical button love love like I have been looking for the perfect asymmetrical style jean that isn't $450 because that seems to be the only price range that these come in so the fact that I found these they're not like a wide leg I would say they're more of like a mom style jean but the color is perfect they're not like a stark white they're a little bit they're definitely a white, but they're more of like a creamy white, I would say. The tank is like a stark white. Okay, I think I have uh, one more dress and then I promise I'm done. Okay, I was definitely in a green mood when I <laughs> placed this order. It's definitely more vibrant in person. I think this is perfect for an occasion, like a dressy date night, um, a wedding. The fact that it's long makes it a little bit more unique, but I love this. Everything I just tried on from Express will be linked below, as well as some items that they were just out of my size that I would have gotten, and some items on my wish list. So, you can't have it all, but I will put my favorites down below. My brother and I are about to go to Ikea. He is going to get a bed, and I'm going to get a dresser for my closet. Um, remember in the last vlog, which I will update you all on that. There is so much to update you on, but I was in the process of cleaning out my closet, and I've gotten so much done but I am gonna get a dresser for either right here or right here. So I'm gonna do some measuring in here and then we're gonna go and then when I come back, I'll show you some things that I got on Amazon to kind of organize and then the clothes that I organized. It looks so much better. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of credit. <laughs> I worked on it like for three, three hours on Sunday. It looks so much better, but I'm gonna go get my brother. He just did a really hard workout and he was like not doing well. So <laughs> Like, I hope he's okay. I grabbed this mirror from Ikea. I didn't have a, a mirror in my closet, so uh, I grabbed that last time we were there. And it's been really, really nice. Because I, the only mirror that we have, we have one in the entryway and one in the living room. And those are the only two mirrors. I didn't even have one in the bedroom, so it's been really nice having this. Okay, I'm going to go pack my purse, load the car, and head out. Where's Ryan? Running still? All right, we have to measure the back seat to see if everything we're getting is gonna fit. Okay, so the first package is... Yo. What are you at? 30? This is 83 right here. But we're gonna have to scoot our seats up really far. Show it, Charlie. Oh, this is 
I'm having flashbacks to Party City when we tried to fit all those balloons in here. No fits. No fit. <laughs> We're in the closet. We just unloaded the car. Connor is going to put his bed and nightstands together. Well, you're still doing that today, aren't you? Yeah, tonight. Even though this mattress isn't going to be here till tomorrow. But we're going to put together... I got two dressers. Um, so we're going to put those together. They actually gave us an extra box, so... I'll have to take that back at some point. But I'm not going to make the extra trip. For that. Okay. Let's get started. How do you turn it off? Flick the thing down. On top? There you go. There. put up last night we called it a night because we were both so hungry and it got to be like 8 30 and we go on a walk every single night so we were like how are we gonna eat dinner and then go on a walk and then clean up the kitchen so we called it but we finished up today and I pushed these two together and it looks so good um let's see. so just put these here and then the clothes still have room to breathe so but I need to fill up these drawers and get all my stuff put away I'm so sad because I really thought I was gonna have time to finish everything and then show you but definitely not it I underestimated the amount of time it was gonna take to build these dressers so there's that but I will show you the finished the finished hopefully finished in the next vlog um, or the next video. I think I'm doing like a get ready with me next. But I will show you some of the things that I got from Amazon to kind of get myself organized. I got another one of these for my necklaces. I love these. Got one right now. I really probably need three, but I've got two for now. And I grabbed this at Home Goods actually because this was only $12 for both of these. And I think this is so great for um like tights or not like sock socks but like my my gucci socks my fishnetty type socks more of like fashion type socks and then i got this wrap for my robes that you well, you guys know what like it's just like mental hooks something like this and then i have these little vintage shell dishes for some jewelry um here's my Thing that I've got. Oh my, the thing for my, oh it's in the living room. Basically what I got for my sunglasses is there are these acrylic shelves. They're actually for books, but I saw a hack on Pinterest that you can use them for sunglasses. So I got two of those. So I think it's like two packs of six maybe and they're like 15 inches long. So I think that'll fit my sunglasses. So my sunglasses aren't just thrown here. Next home project which you probably have already guessed because I've been talking about it a little bit and on Instagram quite a bit but it is officially the next project um and it's probably going to come along pretty quickly because it's something that I think we all want to be finished we're installing the floor this weekend in my office which I'll probably put in the home series just because I also want to go over the walls the paint color how we put up the molding on the walls and all of that so that is going to probably live in the home series it'll still be in vlog form it'll be just like a vlog but it will just be for the office and just kind of like a breakdown of everything that we've done so just a heads up if you're not interested maybe stay away from that one because that's probably gonna bore you but if you are interested then we'll try to make it good for you it's three days later four days later and i just finished the closet i still needed to update you from last vlog so there's two things that I needed to do so I'm gonna show you the closet and then I'll update you on everything that happened last vlog with the UTI and all of that so show you the closet and then I will show you what all I have to do like what all I have left project wise in the closet so 
walk in, I've got my, I hung my robes up right here. Then I got my dressers put together. This took me pretty much a whole, probably like two hours to like fold everything, go through it, organize it, put it in here. So I've got pretty organized. This is my P PJ drawer and I put these Miss Myers lavender um, scent packs in, not my underwear drawer, because I didn't want any like irritation, <laughs> but uh, I put it in my bras, my t-shirts, my workout clothes, and my PJs. Right here, I've got my tights, my fashion socks, my hair scarves, and then I've got my little step stool, my steamer, and I'm gonna put the iron right here. Then I've got a little dirty clothes hamper here. Put my boots right here. And then the boots keep going all along the top. And on top of the dresser, I just kind of threw this together, but I've got my perfume here. And then I put some hair accessories in here. I need to put, I've got a few more that I need to bring and put in here. And then I put my headbands here, although the gray is not my favorite. I think I'm either gonna exchange it for an acrylic one or a beigey kind of linen one. And then I put my bracelets and watches here some rings in here and then some little like ear cuffs and like one-off earrings and like small things in here. More earrings in here and then necklaces on these two. This is what the beige one will look like so then it'll kind of match so that'll be nice. And then here are my clothes so I Color-coded, these are my dresses, so I color-coded everything here, and then I've got all of my printed dresses right here because I feel like sometimes my prints can get lost in the mix, so I just went ahead and kind of categorized them here. I put my boots keep going up here, and then here are my hats. And then on this rack, I've got all of my shorts and mini skirts here color-coded, and then I've got my blazers going into light jackets and cardigans there, and then all of my tops here. Okay, my battery died, so I had to go get another one. This back wall, I put my bags right here. So then up here, I've got boxes, and these are like, and these are storage boxes, so one of the boxes has all of my photos in it. Um, another box has just memorabilia, like every time when the twins were little and they would color me a picture or make me a bracelet, so stuff like that I have in a box, and then I have another box of wedding stuff. All of the notes that everyone wrote me, my dad's gift, Ryan's gift, Ryan's notes, and my bridesmaids did something really sweet, so I have all of that in a box. I've got my sandals going down here, right there, and then here is my sunglass wall. So these are the things that I was telling you about that are that hold books, but I thought they would be perfect for sunglasses. This is the closet and oh, time out. This is my rolling rack here that I keep that I'm like when I film reels and YouTube videos, I've got this rack here with all of my pants and long skirts and then jeans. And then I've just got some denim shorts folded up there and then my leather stuff and skinny jeans folded up there because those aren't really things that I'm grabbing right now. I'm so glad I didn't go live with this video yet so I could show you <laughs> what it looks like. Cause I really, I was super bummed because I was like, I really thought I could get it done, but I couldn't in the last, like earlier, a few days ago. It's just too much. I think, oh yeah, so I totally, I wanted to update you guys on my like UTI and antibiotic situation, which if you are gonna be totally bored with the story, then just end it right here. Cause I'm gonna end the vlog right after, but what happened was, okay, when I left off with you guys, I was like two days in with the antibiotics and I just couldn't do it anymore. And so I took them for one more day after I ended the vlog and just got worse. Like I just felt so much worse than I did the two days before. So I just stopped taking them cold turkey. My UTI was like gone, right? But the symptoms from the antibiotics were still there. So my mom and my sisters ended up coming down and we were on our way to dinner and I kept getting this terrible feeling of like anxiety and my heart beating real fast and like I was gonna faint, right? Like I would, it would just start to go black. 
I was like, you guys, I'm so sorry, but you, you're going to have to take me home. I, I, I feel like I'm having like an anxiety attack. And they were like, what? Because I am always the person who's like, if I'm not feeling good or if like something's wrong, I do not let anybody know. Like I wait until I need to go to the hospital and until I tell people <laughs> that something's wrong. So everybody was like, what? You acted like you were just fine. I was like, no, I'm not okay. We've, we've got to turn around. So if I say I'm not okay, like I'm not okay. So we turn around, we go back home. I felt so bad, but everyone was like, it's fine. It's fine. Like, don't worry about it. Everybody, they didn't want to drop me off and leave me. So instead of everybody just going to dinner, everybody came to our house and I just laid on the couch. So the next day I was still nauseous, like anxiety. And I finally started doing some more research on that pill. And a lot of people had the same issue of you know, anxiety, like heart beating fast, like panicky and like shortness of breath. That was also a big one. And it was just really strange. So then my UTI came back. Obviously that was going to happen, right? Because I stopped the antibiotics early. So I remember that I had taken amoxicillin previously and did just fine with it. So I started amoxicillin and it was totally fine. You know, got through five days of that two days later, the UTI came back. So then I had to get on another round of amoxicillin and I finally ended that literally like three days ago. My doctor was even like, you know, cause I was like, I know you're not supposed to just stop taking an antibiotic cold turkey. Like you have to finish it or your UTI is going to come back. And he was like, no, you absolutely should stop taking it. If it's making you that sick, you should not keep taking it. And so that made me feel a little bit better. Um, and but yeah, so it's been a wild two weeks, let me just say, but I'm finally back to normal. My UTI is gone. It's been gone for about a week now and um, no more symptoms of the antibiotic, but I'm telling you, and the antibiotic was called Macrobit. I think I told you guys that in the last vlog, but it stayed in my system for probably five, like four to five days after I stopped taking it. I was still feeling like anxiety, panic heart beating fast, shortness of breath and dizzy and like hot flashes. And, um, yeah, my doctor was like, I, you allergic to it. So don't take that anymore. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what's, ha that's what's happened. What happened. <laughs> and it was actually scary because I was thinking, you know, I stopped taking this antibiotic. How much longer am I going to feel like this? And then I started feeling like, is this, am I going to feel like this forever? Is this just my life now? And finally it stopped. Um, it stopped. Just like finally but it was a slow stop it took a f like few days like four days to fully stop but anyways all right I'm gonna go and the next video is gonna be a quick little get ready with me chat get ready with me I think I'm gonna film it tomorrow I'm gonna get up early so I can have a little bit of time and then I think after that is gonna be the first home series vlog or the home series might come before they get ready with me but I've got three home series vlogs planned right now so that'll be exciting and like I said if you aren't into it just don't watch it because I don't want to hear how boring it is blah 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 like it's a home series for a reason so it's just going to be packed with like home stuff renovation DIY math paint color things that if you don't care about that kind of thing it's going to bore you to tears so all right, I'm gonna go so I can actually, I'm actually filming the home series today. So I'm gonna wrap this up, get it edited, and then start filming. So I'll see you next time, bye.